Okay, next up would be to, I don't know, uh, fix that uh, ANSI escape sequence thing. Should we switch to the new output from Buster first? Our mock is sort of outdated. Oh, right. Yeah, we can do that. We have um, we have some some stuff yeah, right in here. We'll use that. So this is the new output from a passing test. Mm -hmm. And I also have a failing test right here for some some other stuff. So let's uh, create uh, a directory called stubs. Okay. We'll just keep text files with those uh, reports. Yeah. So there's passing tests. And this is failing tests. So in case you're not used to reading anti-escape sequences uh, like this, uh, this is actually just one line of output uh, replacing itself over and over. That's what the funky yeah. characters are about. Let's uh, let's just um, paste them. Um, yeah, cats, features, stubs, passing tests. Yeah. And the failing tests. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's see, starting the tests again. And now you can update the test to just cat that file instead of running the other stub, the older stub. Yeah, exactly. Um, this is what we want to see. And we have a run all tests feature. There's no longer zero timeouts. It's no, just no. this. Yep, good. And that should be failing. And we can switch it over in the basic steps. To just cat the file. Features, stops, passing, tests. Nice. Yeah, sweet. So then we can add a test for uh, that has failing tests, I guess. Yeah. That sounds or good. Take a look. Hmm. Because we saw earlier that it does not replace the go back one character escape sequence, and now we have the go up one line and clear line sequences. That's Maybe true. those aren't supposed to support either. Yeah, I'm uh, <laughs> doing this from the wrong place. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So we need to build support for that one A. That means one line up. And then the clean, okay, clear line, which is 1K, has apparently been <laughs> removed. Yeah, it's... Um, <laughs> which is kind of stupid, because it's supposed to go one line up and then clear the line. Yeah. So it's it's basically not moving up, but it's still clearing the line, and then it's clearing nothing. Yeah, so it, it lost information that we would actually need, but okay. Okay, so we have to build this uh, for... Uh, we have to interpret this... As something else now. We have to interpret it as kill the last, the previous line. Yeah, so we'll build one that's specific for this reporter, not a generic. And see library. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so where to begin? Uh, um, there were some, there's some filter hooks, something, something, uh, when we were looking at compile. Yeah, that's true. Uh, or a comment has some filter stuff. Let's see, features, and I should not see, and we have these, I don't want to see these. So here you can actually see the K as well, and you can see that it should have gone up first and then cleared the line. Yeah, exactly. So I should not see this. No. <coughs> and we have a really, <laughs> really bad very Stack trace. Pretty. It looks like EQX does not like to print out those <laughs> uh, those lines. Okay. Okay, that, that's good enough. We know what's failing. Yeah. So basically, there are. We need to find the correct hook. We have to find the correct hook. We we already have the finished compilation hook, but if we have a long running process that keeps emitting output, we'd like to clean it up as soon as it lands, right? Yeah. And not wait until it's done. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, but um, let's just make this pass now and we can clean it up in the finish hook, maybe? Yeah, sure. Since we, uh, we know about this one. And uh, 
then we can test for some long running things later. Okay. So buster mode and well we have to set it up when setting up the minor mode then, I guess. Yeah. So um, the the last part L dot on this last part here is the body. So it's uh, run when you turn it on and when you turn it off. So if buster mode is on, then add the hook to buster mode clean up and see mess. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So if there are any any params, I don't care about them. No. Because what I want to do is get into the buffer, which is called compilation mode. With current buffer compilation. But that should probably also be buster test. We we can fix that later. Yeah. Let's save excursion. Then go to the first jar and start searching. So while we're searching forward for this one, mm -hmm. and there's no bound, but there is, please do not make errors. And then what? Now we've found it. We have to, let's see, delete some characters. Uh, we'll delete one, two, three, four, and then the line break as well, yeah. five characters. It says delete car, is that right? Yeah. Minus five. Minus five. And then we have to kill the entire line that we landed on. So we'll just do delete car and then uh, what's the column position? What's that call? I think it's just current column. Uh, current. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And then okay. minus. Yeah. Right. I should have known parrot it now. Okay. There we go. Uh, we'll just try that. Yeah. I think that should be good enough. It's going to take away this one and the previous line. Yeah. Nice pass. Seems to have worked. Um, evaluate buffer. And then head into. Oh, we can actually just run it from here now. Can't we? Or how did you run it earlier? Um, because now you just want to run it with the stub output. Yeah. Yeah. Like this. And it doesn't work, but uh, that's because we're, um, we haven't really added the hook yet. <laughs> so let's add the hook and uh, yeah, yeah it's working. That works. Nice. Okay, let's commit it. So we have some. Yeah, let's commit everything. Clean up and see mess. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>